A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus English, that's so much fun, English education, for you and everyone, so come along. Learn some grammar, hey. learn a phrase, uh -huh. learn something new every day, learn the A plus way. Hi everyone, and welcome to A Plus English. I'm Pat, and I'm Laura. It's it's our encyclopedia、mm -hmm. article for this month, and our question to warm us up: Which animal do you like the most?、Mm -hmm. What is special about it? Ah, I don't know if it's very special, but I like elephants. I very like elephants. And it could be because when I was young, I used to love Dumbo. Ah, 对呀、啊，我非常喜欢小飞象，所以我也很喜欢大象这个动物。What about you? Uh, I would say rhinos. Rhinos、uh -huh. are my favorite. They're dangerous, though. They're not. They're just big, kind of、mm -hmm. fat pigs things with <laughs> spiky They noses. They are cute in cartoons. Yeah, I do like the spiky noses, but mostly I just like the size of these things. They just look like animal <laughs> tanks. <laughs> yeah, and also they're special because there are so few of them left, and、oh, we really have to、true. do a lot of work to protect them. Because they're almost all gone.、Mm. But what animal are we talking about today? Let's find out by reading through the article. A plus encyclopedia. The animal with the most teeth. Warm-up question: Which animal do you like the most? What is special about it? Today we're going to talk about teeth. The question of the day is: Which animal has the most teeth? A. Sharks. B. Snails. Or C. Snakes. Do you have the answer in mind? The answer is snails. These slow animals can eat just about anything: plants, animals, and also detritus. They have rows and rows of tiny teeth. Some kinds of snails have over twenty thousand teeth in their mouths. The inside of a snail's mouth looks like it has many very small hooks. These help the snail catch and swallow its food. New teeth grow to replace old teeth that are worn out. Don't worry, a snail won't hurt you if it bites you. Each of its teeth is thinner than a human hair. Word power. Snail. Snail. I often see snails outside after it rains. They move very slowly. I often see snails outside after it rains. They move very slowly. Row. Row. There are ten rows of desks in this class. One student sits at each desk. There are ten rows of desks in this class. One student sits at each desk. Swallow, swallow. Marcy swallowed a bite of her sandwich and then drank some water. Marcy swallowed a bite of her sandwich and then drank some water. Replace, replace. Peter's computer stopped working, so he replaced it with a new one. Peter's computer stopped working, so he replaced it with a new one. 认识智慧 Detritus. Detritus. Hook. Hook. So, as I said, it's our monthly encyclopedia article, and as always, we start with a question, which is, which animal has the most teeth? Oh, 
我最喜欢这个月的这个单元哦，每个月哦都要猜这个题的时候，我就觉得嗯，可以动动脑。那今天当然我们要问大家这个问题：哪个动物有最多的牙齿？要让你动动脑，想一想。And what are Uh, what are our answer choices? Well, we have A sharks. Got it. It's got to be sharks. 对呀，一定是这个吧，就是 A 鲨鱼。Well, is it B snails? Huh? Huh? 还是 B snails？ 我们先来看一下 snail 这个字吧。Snail, 没错，真的就是瓜牛的意思哎，它是个名词。而且你们知道吗？在法国 ，French snails are a popular dish in France. 他们法国田螺非常有名哦，就叫做 French snails。那通常我们都知道，瓜牛它们爬的速度很慢，对不对？所以英文有个片语就叫做 at a snail's pace。Pace 就是步伐 ，so this just means very slowly， 就很像我们中文常说“龟速”很慢这样的意思啦。那猜猜看 ，snail mail 是什么意思？瓜牛邮件啊，是下面一回。哎，这可不是把这个瓜牛当做邮差的意思。原来，因为我们现在是不是都用 email， 就是电子邮件来寄东西？但想想看，如果是用一边这种比较传统的平信，是不是跟 email 比相比之下就很慢？所以 snail mails 就是指平信或是传统信件，是不是很可爱呢？好，我们再来看一下 snail 的例句哦。I often see snails outside after it rains. They move very slowly. 我常常在下雨之后，在外头看到瓜牛，它们行动非常缓慢。So we all know snails. They can be different sizes, but they're long, thin, and have shells on their backs.、Mm-hmm. They come out after the rain. Now, a lot of people eat them. A lot of people would say, <laughs> "No way." Do you like eating snails? No. As、okay. animals, they're okay to look at, but as、mm-hmm. a dish, I have never and probably won't ever try them at all.、Huh. What about you? Yeah,、uh, I don't mind them.、Um, I've had them in Taiwan, where you kind of pop them out of the shell and、ah. dip them in some sauce. And in Europe, I probably prefer the European style, cooked up with like、mm-hmm. garlic, cheese,、oh. herbs, that kind of stuff. Yeah, very tasty. <laughs> anyway, back to the article, and we have our third choice for the animal、mm-hmm. with the most teeth: sea snakes. Oh, okay. 还记得吗 ？A 鲨鱼，然后 B 是瓜牛。那 C 就是蛇 snakes。哎，这有可能是正解。But I'm just gonna go for.、It. A、mm-hmm. sharks,、okay. baby shark, do do do, baby shark. 哎，硬要唱歌，好了好了。So, what's the answer? Is it A? The answer says the answer is snails. Huh? What? Huh? 怎么可能是瓜牛 ？I thought that's the least possible one. Yeah, bit of a trick question.、Mm. We read on and see that these slow animals can eat just about anything: plants, animals, and also. Detritus. Ooh, a fancy word there. Okay, so、mm. 原来瓜牛他们几乎什么都吃，像是植物啦、动物啊。So just about anything. Just about 这个片语就是几乎、差不多这样的意思哦。Yeah, just about means the same as almost. Snails eat almost anything, including detritus. Detritus 是什么呢？就是血碎或是血粒哦，所以他们什么都吃，连这样碎碎啊的东西也吃哦。Yeah, detritus is just kind of rubbish, any kind of waste. <laughs> A lot of the time, it's plants, so like fallen leaves, bits、mm-hmm. of stick, but it could be things like trash or bits of food or oil. Some even stones and broken、mm-hmm. bits of stones are kind of detritus.、What? 所以他们连那个都可以吃哦。They must need teeth to eat all of that. Exactly. The article says they have rows and rows of tiny teeth. 啊，好厉害哦！所以他们有好多排、好多排的小小的碎小牙。OK， 我们来看一下 row 这个 word power word。Row 在本课是当做名词来用，就是有一排啦、一行啦、一列哦。那其实呢，我常常把 row 跟 column 就是一栏
，这两个常常搞混，哪一个是直，哪个是横，所以我就这么去查喽。他说 ，rows go across， so from left to right. On the contrary, columns are arranged from up. To down, so 简单来说 row 是横的 ，column 是直的，这样子记准没错。好啦，那我们再来看一下一个例子，怎么用 row。像是 I hate sitting in the front row of the movie theater， 我真的无法坐第一排电影院的位置。哎，好啦，我们再来看一个例子哦。There are ten rows of desks in this class. One student sits at each desk. 这间教室有十排桌子，一位学生坐一张桌子。Yeah, with a row, we're talking about a line, or in snails' cases, many lines of teeth. We could also talk about rows of houses, for example.、Mm -hmm. Here's more about snails. The article says some kinds of snails have over twenty thousand teeth. In their mouths. <laughs> 天哪，有些瓜牛竟然有超过两万颗牙齿在他们嘴巴里面呢。Next, it says the inside of a snail's mouth looks like it has many very small hooks. 嗯，这个我可能要 Google 一下来看。他说瓜牛嘴巴里面看起来就是怎么样？有很多很多的。Hooks 是什么呢？就是钩钩，或是有挂钩这样的意思哦。Hook 它是个名词。Yeah, a hook is curved in some way, like the hooks the fishermen use to catch、mm -hmm. fish. Now, hooks catch things more easily than a straight, sharp thing like a pin or a knife, and you can move things on a hook. Hmm, that reminds me of Captain Hook Captain from Hook, Peter Pan. Exactly, on his hand. Hook, 船长，他的手就是有一个钩子哦。Now, is that what the snails use them for? Well, actually, yes. The、mm -hmm. article says these, that these little hook-like hook teeth,、mm -hmm. help the snail catch and swallow. It's food. Oh, so their mouth, that looks like a hook, the shape of the teeth, will help the snails catch and swallow their food. It sounds like the snails are pretty scary. Let's look at the word swallow. Okay, swallow means to 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 swallow. It hurts when you swallow. You 吞东西就一定会很不舒服。我们再来看一下这个例子。Marcy swallowed a bite of her sandwich and then drank some water. Marcy 吞下一口三明治之后，然后喝了一些水。Yeah, swallowing is this. I'll do it with some water.、Mm. The food or water goes <laughs>、mm -hmm. from in your mouth down into your stomach.、Mm -hmm. We also learn that new teeth grow to replace old teeth that are worn out.、Mm, okay, so new teeth will grow to replace old teeth that are worn out. Okay, so new teeth will grow to replace old teeth that are worn out. Okay, so new teeth will grow to replace old teeth. Replace 是个动词，有更换啦、替换啦，可能是因为哎东西老旧而更换哦。像是 the TV was old and needed replacing， 电视机老了需要被嗯更换哦。或者可能因为年代不同，很多东西会被取代。So for example, smartphones have replaced. Almost everything, like cameras, okay, 就是相机啦 or even flashlights, 手电筒啦 and alarm clocks, 闹钟哦。我现在就是一定要靠我手机的闹钟，所以它已经取代很多这个实体的传统的功能。我们再来看一下例句哦。Peter's computer stopped working, so he replaced it with a new one. Peter 的电脑坏掉了，所以他换了新的一台。Yeah, when we get rid of a or lose an old、mm -hmm. thing, we need to replace it. Or if someone leaves a job,、oh. another person will come to replace them.、Mm -hmm. And here we're talking about replacing teeth because snails' teeth are often worn out. 嗯，没错，我们来看一下 worn out 就是被损坏、被耗尽这样的意思。它的原型呢，当然就是 wear. Out 这个片语，也就是用坏啦、耗尽这样的意思。想要知道更多这个片语的用法，我们要请教我们的 Magic Box 老师。<音樂>
我是Peggy，今天要来跟大家介绍wear这个单字。大家可能觉得说啊，这是好简单，我已经会了，那就穿衣服的意思嘛。但是你知道它可以用来讲喷香水或化妆吗？例如说这个句子。Sandy usually doesn't wear makeup. Sandy 通常不化妆, 或者是 Mindy is wearing a simple black dress to the party. 那这个就是穿衣服的意思啦. Mindy 穿了一件简单的黑色洋装去宴会. 大家觉得说简单简单已经学过了。但是你们可能不知道, wear 其实也有损耗, 磨耗的意思. 比如说, 呃，有很多人应该都有这个东西，就是有一条很喜欢的小贝贝，那从小盖到大，边边都磨损了呢，还是舍不得丢，就可以用这个字。I uh, really like this blanket, even though it's starting to wear at the edges. 从这个意思呢，也因此衍生出了一些相关的片语，比如说 wear out， 意思就是把一个东西用到坏掉，用到没有。例如说这个句子。Andy wore out his new running shoes in just two months. Andy的新跑鞋才穿两个月就磨坏了，显然他很认真练跑哦。或者是呢，像汽汽车啊，或是机器啊，有些零件呢也是要定期更换。比如说， your tires need changing. They have worn out and it's dangerous to ride with them. 你的轮胎已经磨平了,要赶快换哦,继续这样骑车很危险。那除此之外呢, wear out也可以就是变成形容词片语是 worn out,在我们课文中是这样使用, worn out就是说某个东西已经磨损殆尽,已经磨坏了的意思。那我们既然刚刚讲到 Andy的鞋子嘛, 我们就用形容词片语来造个句子就可以说成 Andy's running shoes are worn out, Andy的跑鞋已经磨坏了。那另外还有一个也很常见的片语跟wear当作损耗的意思也是有关的，那就是wear off。那这个片语的意思呢，是某个感觉啊，或是某个情绪啊，渐渐消失。其实也可以当做药效消失的意思啦。例如说，呃，如果你要说止痛药药效消失，反而变得更痛了，你就可以这样说。the cramps felt even worse after the painkiller wore off. 止痛药药效过去之后呢,筋痛反而感觉更严重了。或者是, the excitement of her new job soon wears off after a week. 她换新工作的兴奋感,在一个礼拜之后很快就消退了。好啦,今天跟大家介绍wear这个字的其他的意思,还顺便介绍了wear out, worn out和wear off的用法。so our clothes get worn out when we wear them a long time. Yeah. That's another one. Mm -hmm. And we can we can use get worn out and be worn out. You oh, can put, that's right. Put these other verbs Shoes in. too. Yes, mm -hmm. and you can put two different verbs in that kind of sentence. But back to the article, and we see that <laughs> don't worry, a snail won't hurt you if it bites you. <laughs> With all those twenty thousand teeth, I was worried about that. Okay, 我刚刚有想过，就是说，哎，那在我们被瓜牛咬掉、咬到的话，会不会怎么样？最后文章有告诉我们。别担心, don't worry, 一只瓜牛才不会伤坏你，即使它真的咬了你一口哦。Yeah, you probably wouldn't feel it because, <laughs> as the last sentence of the article says, each of its teeth is thinner. Than a human hair. Ah, 是哦，所以原来瓜牛每一颗的牙齿比我们人类的头发还要更细，还要更薄哦。所以就是我们不用担心它是不是可能会咬伤我们。Yeah, it would almost feel like it's kind of tickling you or oh, okay. kissing you or something nice <laughs> like that. Mm -hmm. So don't worry about snails and their thousands of teeth. No. But that is the end of today's article. So we're now going to go to our review time activity. Review time. Okay, so today's been all about snails' teeth. Mm. Uh, but what else do we know about different animals' teeth? We've got some fun facts here to oh, share with nice. you. So dolphins. Uh huh. Well, you Hai can. Tuan. Yeah, you can look at a dolphin's teeth. 
to see how old the dolphin is. What? It's like the rings on trees. If you cut a tree, you count the number of rings in the in the piece of trunk. You can do the same with dolphin's teeth. I didn't know that. So, if you want to know how old a dolphin is, you have to check out their teeth. You have to look at their teeth because it's like the number of rings on the tree. You can see how old the dolphin is. I didn't know that. So, if you want to know how old a dolphin is, you have to check out their teeth. I've got another one. Okay. Okay. Rabbits and squirrels' teeth never stop growing. Did you know that? I did not.、Mm. I think I knew it about rats, but I didn't know it.、Mm. I guess it goes for all animals like that. Oh, okay. So, this rabbit and this squirrel, their teeth are always growing. Yeah. So, a very old rabbit or squirrel would have very long teeth.、Mm. But blue whales, the biggest animals in the entire world ever. Don't even have teeth. Huh? Some more? Yeah, they just swallow all their food, kind of filter it out. I and, guess so. Yeah, that's it. They don't need to bite or crunch or grind up、mm-hmm. anything. Ah, we just 直接东西吞哎 They can't really enjoy food. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to crunch、yeah. the food to enjoy it. Who knows? I guess so. Okay. This is the last one. Hippos. Hippos、mm, have the largest canine teeth.、That's、these bitey,、yeah. sharp ones here.、Mm, almost one meter long. Wow. That's really long, and they can even bite through boats. That's impressive.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you go to a zoo and you see the, the when the hippo opens its mouth, I、mm-hmm. mean they're huge teeth. I mean some of it is still inside the gum, like inside、Gross. the mouth, but these teeth are like really long. Yeah, I've never really seen their teeth. They are、mm. super long. I should go check again. Yeah, there is、Google. a reason why hippos actually kill more people than lions in、Ooh. Africa because they've got big teeth and they're not always in a good mood.、Oh. But there's some fun teeth facts for you guys to <laughs> sink your teeth into,、mm-hmm. and that's all we've got time for. Thanks very much for watching us today for A Plus English. I'm Pat, and I'm Laura. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye. A Plus Encyclopedia. The animal with the most teeth. Warm-up question: Which animal do you like the most? What is special about it? Today we're going to talk about teeth. The question of the day is: Which animal has the most teeth? A. Sharks. B. Snails. Or C. Snakes. Do you have the answer in mind? The answer is snails. These slow animals can eat just about anything: plants, animals, and also detritus. They have rows and rows of tiny teeth. Some kinds of snails have over twenty thousand teeth in their mouths. The inside of a snail's mouth looks like it has many very small hooks. These help the snail catch and swallow its food. New teeth grow to replace old teeth that are worn out. Don't worry, a snail won't hurt you if it bites you. Each of its teeth is thinner than a human hair. Word power. Snail. Snail. I often see snails outside after it rains. They move very slowly. I often see snails outside after it rains. They move very slowly. Row, row. There are ten rows of desks in this class. One student sits at each desk. There are ten rows of desks in this class. One student sits at each desk. Swallow, swallow. Marcy swallowed a bite of her sandwich and then drank some water. Marcy swallowed a bite of her sandwich and then drank some water. Replace, replace. Peter's computer stopped working, so he replaced it with a new one. 
Peter's computer stopped working, so he replaced it with a new one. 电视智慧 Detritus. Detritus. Hook. Hook.